54, London, 18th November, 1895. Dear Alasinga, In England my work is really splendid. I am astonished myself at it. The English people do not talk much in the newspapers, but they work silently. I am sure of more work in England than in America. Bands and bands come, and I have no room for so many. So they squat on the floor, ladies and all. I tell them to imagine that they are under the sky of India, under a spreading banyan, and they like the idea. I shall have to go away next week, and they are so sorry. Some think my work here will be hurt a little if I go away so soon. I do not think so. I do not depend on men or things. The Lord alone I depend upon, and He works through me. Please everybody, without becoming a hypocrite and without being a coward, hold on to your own ideas with strength and purity. and whatever obstructions may now be in your way the world is bound to listen to you in the long run i have no time even to die as the bengali say i work 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 and earn my own bread and help my country and this all alone and then get only criticism from friends and foes for all that well you are but children i shall have to bear everything i have sent for a sanyasin from calcutta and shall leave him to work in london I want one more for America. I want my own man. Guru Bhakti is the foundation of all spiritual development. I am really tired from incessant work. Any other Hindu would have died if he had to work as hard as I have to. I want to go to India for a long rest. Ever yours with love and blessings. Vivekananda